So Disney thinks that their lightsabers are strong enough to fight with. Others think that this is just a toy. I think it's time we get to the bottom of this. This is my stepdad over here. He's gonna be helping me with this test. So we just spent the last 10 minutes learning a couple moves, coming up with a few routines that we could do. And we're just gonna start off really light. I don't wanna go like full 100% intensity right off the bat because if one of these breaks, then we won't be able to see if they could handle like less intense fighting. You know what I mean? All right, we're just gonna hold these with one hand just so you could see that like not a lot of effort is going into it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, now you. We're taking it really easy. So far, nothing's happening. Is that still turned on? Yes. Still good. This one doesn't have any sound and it's out of battery, so I can't even tell if the light is going on, but I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna break. It's not supposed to. So now we're gonna do some two-handed stuff, medium intensity. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. High block. Again. Okay, does that still turn on? Yes. All right, lightsaber is still good. Okay, we're going ham this time. We're going hard. A lot of force, a lot of intensity. Let's see how this goes. One, two. Yeah, that was hard. Got some dents. Got some dents in this blade. That's so straight. Yeah, seeing some creases on the diffusion paper inside. Don't light up. Yeah, it's definitely got some. All right, awesome. Okay. Yep. There's a crease there. Another one up here. The plastic is a little dented, but you can also see that there are creases on the paper inside. There's also a little one over here. Overall, still looks pretty straight, and it's still on. <laughs> Sound still works, so. Meanwhile, mine is hanging by a thread. Literally. <laughs> uh, high block. Let's go harder. Okay, how are we looking? One or two more creases. Still turning on, still got the sound. Let's play some baseball. I'll go first. Yep. It just made a weird noise. It made that kyber crystal sound when you put the crystal in. It's so good. Okay, you. <laughs> Is it still turn on? We're good! Blade looks ruined, but it's still there, it's still together, still straight. I think one more <laughs> test we have to do, and it involves the trampoline. All right, so we didn't notice this before, but before when we were doing the baseball bat swings, the tip flew off. So clearly these aren't threaded tips. It still works. All right, trampoline shot. That felt more scary than it looked. I'm back inside. My stepdad just pieced. He was like, I have actual stuff to do. <laughs> so anyways, what do you guys think? I thought it went pretty well. It went better than I expected, actually. Both hilts survived. It still locks. That retention mechanism is still perfect. I was worried that not only the blade would be destroyed and ruined, but that it would ruin the hilt also. The electronics inside. I was worried none of that was going to work anymore. But all of this held up and it still turns on. The sound is fine. The only real thing that happened to it were some of these dents. 
Also, I wanted to point out, because a few people mentioned this in the comments, that the blade wiggles in the Disney Saber. Someone that works at Savvy's Workshop reached out to me. They said that this was by design. The designers did this to allow the blade to move a little bit, not have it like completely fixed in one position, because if the blade has a little more room to move, less energy is transferred down to the hilt. So that's probably why the hilt is totally fine. And yeah, that makes total sense. That's what car manufacturers do. They make cars out of like soft metals so that if you were to crash into a wall or something, everything just sort of like crumbles together instead of just boom, hard stop. So yeah, props for thinking of that. The Saber Forge blade. I can't see a single thing wrong with this. No. The hilt. I don't have a soundboard or anything, so I can't speak to that. This hilt looks completely 100% okay. So obviously Saber Forge, this stuff is meant for dueling. Super heavy duty stuff. Yesterday, right before doing this lightsaber durability test, I was using my Saber Forge Saber. It was lighting up, everything was going fine, and then I left it alone for a couple hours. I left it on, so the battery drained, and that's why I wouldn't turn on during this video. But, I've been charging this battery all night, and nothing. Nothing's happening. No more light. I don't know what's going on. If this is broken, then I would like to retract what I just said about Saber Forge being super heavy duty. Because this... That still works. So. Super heavy duty stuff. This can withstand, it can survive heavy dueling, but the blade is certainly gonna have some battle scars. But this is kind of interesting now though, because now that one end is completely exposed, Kind of makes me want to see what's inside of here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a video on what's inside the lightsaber. Other than that, I'm dying to hear what you guys thought of this experiment, so let me know down in the comments what you think. I think a lot of us were surprised. I was, for sure. And a lot of commenters thought that this was literally just a toy, it's gonna break as soon as you go hard with it. So I'm, I'm glad it survived. Yeah, so I can't wait to see what you guys say, but until then, you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will keep on living Star Wars, and I will see you in the next video.